Greetings, Mark Boswell, Boswell Emergency Medical Education. How's it going? So a little video short while I'm on the road today, and what I wanted to do was talk about some recent uh, good points that were brought up by commenters, people commenting, posters, on some of the exam questions. And I saw it a couple times, so I figured it must be something people are thinking, and I wanted to bring it up and discuss it. So in general, the comments were about some of the questions being too technical and medical diagnosis focused. So I agree, when you read some of the questions I construct and design, they are more medical diagnosis focused or maybe the domain of medicine. And the concern was that is not really within nursing's purview. I understand that comment, I get it. I will say, in response to that, there's a reason for this. Number one, remember my questions and my main purpose is to prep people for the CE and exam. And so I try and construct and design materials, references, practice questions that are consistent with the CEN theme, tone, scope, and blueprint. A few test cycles ago, as the BCN was revising and refocusing the content areas and the style of the questions, there was more of a push towards including more quote unquote medicine in it. The BCN recognized with their uh, needs analysis and needs assessment and nursing practice assessment, which helps define the test, you know, how they're going to revise it. The BCN recognized that nurses do play, especially emergency nurses, do play an integral role arm in arm with medicine in providing care for our patients. Not that nurses are practicing medicine, but nurses do play a partnership with their physician and provider peers in providing care for the patients. There has to be some common understanding, some common ground, some common knowledge base. So while some of these questions may seem more medical model, indeed they are, but they're not asking the nurse to practice medicine, and I try and word them in that way. In other words, I don't ask a specific question like, what would you order? However, I rephrase it to say, what order might you expect to see, or are most likely to see, or what order might you receive? Or as far as the medicine goes, what dose would you expect to see? So not asking the nurse to practice medicine, but for the nurse to be a partner in understanding that relationship we have, and especially in emergency nursing, it's a very dynamic partnered relationship. So, it's, and I'll also say this, if you are studying for the CE and exam, questions like these are on the test, okay? They're not asking you to diagnose, they're not asking you to order, but they're asking you to understand and recognize certain things, because we do have a role as nursing to be partners and to facilitate and make sure the patients get the right care at the right time and safely. For example, it's not unrealistic for me to say what order would you expect to see for a person having chest pain? And the answer would be, one of the answers could be a troponin level. That's not asking the nurse to order a troponin level, but you know as an emergency nurse, if someone's having chest pain and a probable acute MI, if you get some orders from your physician or provider that don't include a troponin level, you know you're probably gonna ask them, um, hey doc or hey PA or nurse practitioner, do we need a troponin level also? And Maybe it was an oversight. Maybe there's a good reason for it, for not having it. And if there is or isn't a reason, it might be a good learning opportunity as well, too. So not asking you to read these questions like you're practicing medicine, but we do have that shared vested interest in our patients' outcomes. So don't stress out about that too much. Um, again, the one and the ones I construct and design, I try to keep them pretty straightforward. I'm not asking you the Krebs cycle. I'm not asking you the differential list for you know three different overlapping conditions, things like that, but basic stuff, okay? So I hope this helps understand um, a little more about the theme and the tone of the questions and why they seem a lot of medical stuff, but actually it's our shared work relationship with our patients. And yes, at the end of the day, nurses practice nursing, physicians practice, and providers practice medicine. But we do have some common ground that we do share between the two of us to give good quality patient care. 
and also so we can demonstrate our cognitive knowledge on the C and exam. All right. Hope it helps, guys. Hope it explains a few things, gives you a little different frame of reference or whatnot. And uh, good luck studying, and talk to you soon.